What's up guys, your girl is back with another vlog. Check me out doing some yoga, some food, definitely for my soul. And as always, please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe my YouTube channel, Black Sheet Chronicles. All right guys, enjoy the vlog. Good morning guys. We're still in Abood, Bali, getting ready to take a yoga class at a studio not too far from where we're staying. Um, I do a little bit of yoga back home mainly um, hot yoga for like relaxation and meditation. Yoga is actually one of those practices I never really took quite seriously until about a year ago when um, I, I went to counseling a year ago and one of my counselors actually recommended me um, to do yoga and meditation. And yoga is one of those practices where you really do have to have a clear head and that's not an easy thing to achieve, to stop all of your thoughts in your head and just focus on the present is something that's extremely difficult to achieve. Um, it's something that I still struggle with. Um, there are times when I just can't do it. So I'm hoping today to have a clear mind. Um, I've been away from my normal life for a while, so I've been able to kind of live more in the present and not focus on all of the chaos that you know that normally surrounds me in my regular life so i'm really, really looking forward to taking this class and just focusing on the present I'm kind of interested to see what the balinese yoga is all about um, as i think i mentioned in a previous vlog um, the majority of the people in bali are hindu and yoga actually originated in india which is also primarily hindu so this should be like real deal yoga our instructor is actually a balinese woman so I'm interested in seeing her take on yoga because I've only taken yoga before in the States with an American instructor. So it should be pretty interesting to kind of see the, um, and the differences in practices and concepts. So as usual, you guys, you gotta come along. It should be a good class. So far, it's just Nikki and I in the class. So it's gonna be a private class, it looks like. So hopefully I'll be able to film most of it since it's just the two of us. So let's see. <laughs> just finished the yoga class and that was the best yoga class I've really ever been to not so much for the practice but because of the person that was teaching the class the instructor her energy was just she just had an energy I really can't describe it was, it was really infectious um, she was so happy so giddy so joyful and that made me kind of want to be happy giddy and joyful as well um, like I said and the practice was 
it was okay. I, I've honestly been to better yoga practices in terms of the teaching style, but when you have an instructor that has such a great personality, it makes the class 10 times better. And after the class, she told us her life story. And when she told me her life story, it just made the whole experience more intense and more memorable. Um, she basically is a self-made woman. She has her own businesses, actually multiple businesses. Um, she has a yoga studio as well as a bed and breakfast. And she has been, for the last couple of years, has been trying to build up her business. And here in Bali, there was a bombing um, in 2002 that kind of set her back a little bit in terms of building her business. Um, she took out some loans to rebuild, went bankrupt. Um, her mother and then her mother-in-law got sick and they didn't have insurance so she had to pay for the insurance in the hospital and that set her back again so her business right now is in a bit of a standstill um, but people in the yoga community have really helped her out to kind of and to build the business back up so I really wish her the best of luck in that because it really takes a strong a strong mind to overcome as much as she's had to deal with and she's still so happy and joyful so once again it's one of those experiences that puts your life in perspective that people go through so many hardships and you never know someone's story which is one of the reasons I really like to kind of talk to people if, if I feel a connection like I felt a connection with her I really like to ask them questions because everyone has a story and um, she was very open to sharing that story and it was just a very heartwarming experience because she started to cry I almost started to cry and uh, like I said, I, I just wish her the best of luck because she's one of those genuinely, genuine nice people that I really hope is successful in life because she puts goodness forward and for people like that, they really do deserve for it to be paid back. So all the best of luck to you. I would definitely will put her information in the description box if you ever come to Bali. She, I, I definitely recommend her not only for the practice but just for the energy that she brings to the practice. So thank you very much and namaste. And, and that's another big takeaway um, I've had in the trips so far in Thailand as well as Indonesia that everyone has a story everyone's story is unique everyone has their own path and it's important to really understand that that you know everyone doesn't have to follow the same path in life to get to the end destination um, life can be extremely difficult and it's all about your mental state and your ability to overcome those hardships because I've met a lot of people and I've come close to that myself where you've reached a point of just exhaustion, a point where you're just overwhelmed and you wanna give up. I mean, that's kind of when you kind of need that kickstart to get over that hump because without that kickstart, without that motivation, without that mindset, it's very easy to fall into depression. It's very easy to just give up and not wanna go on. And that's one of the main reasons why I really enjoy yoga because for that hour or hour and a half that I'm doing yoga, I'm able to escape from, from reality in a sense and kind of take a deep breath and kind of just take in what's going on and really process a lot of the things that are going on in my head. Because um, when you have so much going on around you um, in the world, it's hard to kind of relax and figure out your next plan of action without coming really overwhelmed. And that was the issue I was coming into a lot I became really overwhelmed and I wasn't able to process what was going on therefore I was caught in the past and I wasn't able to figure out that issue in order to move on to the next um, so yoga has really helped me and yoga isn't for everybody so my suggestion is find something that is your outlet find something that you enjoy doing something that you can take that hour or even 30 minutes in a day just to be by yourself it's a time just to focus on you to figure out what your next step in life is going to be because everyone needs that outlet like I said it doesn't have to be yoga but everyone needs something to help them through life because life is no joke life is a difficult thing but it can be a, a joyous thing if you let it be so find your outlet